his friend gets to him. Ray moves ahead like others to see them. It is causing a loud alarm sound and causing sounds as it's expanding and sounds like a jet engine is starting. And after a great focus, it hits and people are disappearing. They are dying in its light. It's killing all in an instant, taking everyone in front of him. He gets inside the building to take cover and barely survives out of there. Behind him, all buildings are breaking. He gets here and hides to see it passing. A woman with a child has just survived. He gets back home while kids follow him and ask what has happened. What's all this on him? He startles. He gets up while answering nothing to the mirror and cleans it up and washes up. Thinks for a while and asks them to get out of house in 60 seconds and assigns kids to bring their stuff and he gets up to get his gun and they are on their way out. They have only one minute left. People are running and he's praying to have time to get out of here. Robbie keeps asking what's going on, asks him to get into a van, gets her into it, and Manny says he was right about changing the ignition coil. He asks to get out since the client will be back soon. He keeps asking to get inside, and they don't have time to explain, or he will die. Rachel is crying while knowing nothing about what's happening around and just seeing it. He closes the door and leaves, and they see him in the rear view. He asks them to lay down, and as he is proceeding, Everything behind is falling and going into destruction. The bridge and colonies are gone. Roads are stuffed with vehicles and buses, and he's going across them in speed and crossing them like it's a race to get out of here. He says they didn't see what's happening here and asks the screaming Rachel to calm down. Robbie gets to her and calms her down, comes back to the seat and asks about all these things he knows. He tells him that it has got out of underground and burns everything and everyone. It has come from somewhere out of Earth. They were buried here for a long time here on Earth, and those lights came down and started all these machines. There are planes and helicopters in the sky. Rachel is fine now and wants her mama and keeps repeating that she wants her mama. They are still on the highway and now in a colony, and this is their house. Robbie opens it and they go right inside, calling their mom and Tim. Nobody is here. He sits in calmly and tells them that they are not supposed to be here since they were going to leave for Boston. He calls, and there is no contact with anyone. He takes sauce, barbecue sauce, and vinegar. Robbie says his kitchen had just all these. They are hungry, so there is bread, and he will make sandwiches. Two for her, two for Robbie, two for himself, and one for the kitchen. She says she is allergic to peanut butter since birth. Asks to only take bread. She's not hungry, and he's not as well. Says it's alright, and throws them at the window, and ask them to rest, and their mom and Tim will be back here till tomorrow. They are sleeping in the basement. He says when they show on TV that there is going to be a big storm or something, basements are made for that. Takes his stuff and takes a gun out to keep it under the couch and falls asleep. It's midnight, and the wind is getting stronger, as are the land shakes. He opens his eyes slightly, it's up to the sound, and attacks outside. They stand there and are seeing it outside. She's up as well. This is something else, not light. Their basement is under attack, and they need to get to somewhere else. It's getting intense and is very loud. He asks Robbie to hide somewhere else. Robbie takes her and then takes him in as well with his gun and closes the door as fire fills the basement. Sounds are slowly fading away, and it has got morning. He sees outside and opens the door to get out. They would not have truly survived in here. Gets upstairs and sees it all. Inside the house, there is a plane engine, and everyone around is other parts of a crashed plane. It was a huge plane, and there are no survivors. He looks for if someone is alive. A man is alive and throws something down and asks him to help. This man is deaf. This is Max. She was at the beach and is from the 80th Battalion of the National Guard Unit. They attacked at night, and they have shields around. So when they attack, explosions happen around and harm them not at all. And when they attack, lights happen like in Hiroshima and Nagasaki.